Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have all been doing well today. Um, so yes, today I have a what I've been melting video. So this is all the home fragrance slash wax melts that I've been melting through and sort of my thoughts on them. Uh, without further ado, I'm just gonna get started. So the first item I have here is from Trader Joe's. This is their one wick candle, tin candle, and this is in the scent chocolate croissant. It's a soy wax, coconut oil, and beeswax blend, which is pretty cool. And it has lead-free cotton wick, so that's that's always nice and reassuring um and it's about 5.64 ounces uh this is a small one with candle i believe i paid about three or four dollars for this it was pretty cheap i remember it was pretty cheap but uh yeah the smell of this the scent is just amazing one of the best chocolate scents i've ever gotten in wax and it's just the best chocolate bakery scent it is the most realistic chocolate croissant scent i've ever smelled i mean just amazing delicious it's like if you walk into a parisian bakery and you ordered a pain on chocolat like it's so realistic and so good unfortunately as you can see here uh the candle doesn't very really burn well uh it did tunnel i tried to wait to see if it'll eventually pull out and it didn't even after a couple hours of burning um i don't think it was ever going to pull out um so yeah not a great uh burner but not just that it it doesn't really project that much like the scent is not very strong like when i smell it in the tin it smells pretty strong but um on when i'm burning it it's there's you can barely smell it um so i'm debating whether or not i will try to take it out of the tin and melt it in my wax warmers to see if it gets better that way since it's not a great um burner anyways but we'll see i don't know uh it's such a shame because the scent is so good but also it's like a one wick candle so maybe my expectations are too high for it in terms of scent throw but yeah great scent but not a great performer but i wish that like vendors carried this oil because whatever oil they use is just delicious amazing the just the best so yeah all right that is my only candle so now i'm gonna get into wax modes i'm gonna do retail wax first and then um, i'll get into the vendor wax um, i'll put time stamps time stamps below if you don't care about the retail wax or if you want to skip but um yeah so let me get started so the first item i have here is from scentsy this is in the scent strawberry rose i used about three cubes of this um i've spoken about this scent in the past it's not my favorite just something about this scent has that like very artificial strawberry it smells honestly it doesn't even smell like strawberry to me it smells like cherry chapstick and i know people out there love a cherry chapstick type of note but i personally don't and the rose in this is not a very high quality rose it's sort of a very cheap smelling rose so to me i haven't been a huge fan of it but i will say this is a couple years old i think and it is a great performer it lasts the whole day it's a strong thrower but it just is not a scent that i like which is always a shame um i always feel like it's the scents that you don't like that perform the best i don't know uh but i have been melting it with uh some fruity scents and in that kind of way i actually can tolerate it when i just add a bit of the rose um uh, mixed with a uh, strong fruity scent then i actually can enjoy it so i've been mainly mixing it i think that that's what i'm going to continue to do just to use up this clam but yeah, so anyways, it wouldn't be a repurchase, but I'm going to try to finish it up. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if you guys are like this. I really hate wasting stuff, even if it's a scent I don't like. I just can't bring myself to just throw it out, which I know sounds ridiculous because what's the point of melting something you don't enjoy or melting something that doesn't perform? I don't know. Um, I, I'm, like, I'm this way when it comes to other stuff too. Um, like, uh, for example, a couple years ago i bought this lip balm i think it was from shea moisture or something like that um and i did not like the lip balm at all like it really sucked and honestly i think it might have made my lips even more chapped but i just couldn't bring myself to throw it away so i sort of forced myself to finish it up um even though i didn't like it and whenever i finish up a product i feel very accomplished so it's always nice to be like, oh, I finished this whole thing up. So I feel like I got my money's worth, even if it's like a small amount of money. Like the lip balm was probably a couple of dollars. I don't know. But I don't know why I'm like this. But let me know if you guys are like this or if you guys can understand. Or maybe you guys are better at letting go of stuff that you don't need or don't like. But yeah, maybe that's something I have to work on. Anyways, 
uh, let's get started. So the rest are all are all retail wax um, from like either Walmart or Target. So the first item I have here, this is from Sensationals. This is Rainy Day Water Lily and Warm White Musk. This is the value pack. I used about, oh, only two cubes. I could have sworn I have finished a whole value pack of this before. I'm pretty sure I have. I think I just have backups of this. This is the old packaging, as you can see. Um, really great kind of scent. Very strong performer, lasts the whole day strong throw it's just a very basic white floral aquatic kind of scent uh, i do enjoy it it's not my favorite scent in the world but it do, it gets the job done sometimes when i want a bathroom melt but i don't really know what to melt i'll just reach for this it's just easy and it works so yeah great throw and uh i don't know if i'll repurchase it i actually have another value pack clam of this so we'll see after i finish all of it if i how i feel about it if i if i got sick of it or not okay and the next value pack I have here is also from Walmart. This is Better Homes and Garden. This is Soft Cashmere Amber. This is such a beautiful, soft, warm, cozy scent. I melted about almost a clam of this. Five cubes of this. And this one is not as strong as other Walmart wax that I've tried before. Usually Walmart wax performs very well for me, but this one is more on the medium side, but it is a really nice, cozy, warm, ambery kind of scent. Um, I think this is the kind of scent that nobody could dislike. It's such a neutral kind of scent that I don't feel like it could offend anybody. Um, yeah, I feel like this is the perfect scent for if guests come over, just because, once again, I don't think it could offend anybody. It's just warm and cozy. Um, so I really enjoy this. It's uh, not the strongest performer. I wish it performed better, but otherwise, it's it's not bad at all. So those are the two value packs that I've been working on. Now I'll get into the normal like clam sizes. So uh, another one from Sensationals. This is Enchanted Blackberry and Patchouli. I don't detect any patchouli in this because it doesn't have any of that um earthy earthy note that patchouli normally has uh i used about four cubes but i will say i do really enjoy this it definitely has blackberry but it's such a pretty blackberry scent it's not quite a um like a fresh blackberry this smells more like a blackberry perfumey scent it's almost like a very nice blackberry body care item. Um, I usually don't tend to like those kinds of scents in home fragrance, but somehow I do really enjoy this. So yeah, I think I would repurchase this. Once again, great throw and I've just been really enjoying this. So I will seek this scent out. Um, I don't know if this has been discontinued or not. I don't keep up with Walmart wax that often or yeah, I'm not somebody who follows it a lot. I just like go to Walmart and I just will browse if there's like new wax or whatever i don't know i'll just browse and see what i want to pick up but uh yeah so let me know if it is or if it's not if you happen to know the next one i have here is also from walmart better homes and garden over the rainbow uh, i used about four cubes of this also a really good performer <laughs> lasts the whole day this smells just like blue grotto to me from sensi it smells like artificial candy it smells like pixie sticks to me, sort of Skittles, pixie sticks along that kind of line. I do enjoy it, but I do feel like I have a lot of scents like this in my collection, so I don't feel the need to repurchase it at this time, but it is a good performer. Um, another one from Sensationals, this is Pumpkin Spice. Uh, it's Pumpkin Time. I don't think this is that spicy, actually. Um, even when I bought it a long time ago and my nose couldn't tolerate spice, Back in the day, I still didn't think this was that spicy. If anything, I think this smells exactly like the photo. It just smells like pumpkin bread, like a, like a pumpkin bread with a nutty note to it. It's really, really nice. I really enjoyed this. Um, it is also a really good performer, lasts most of the day. I would say maybe like nine hours, maybe 10 hours or so. Really good, really enjoy this kind of scent. It's sort of, sort of sweet, sort of nutty, kind of bakery pumpkin kind of scent. It's not overwhelming, not overly sweet, not overly spicy. Um, so it's a really good neutral pumpkin bakery kind of scent. So I really enjoyed that. And I would definitely seek the scent out more. I don't know if this is discontinued or not. I would be very sad if it is because it's such a good scent. But yeah, one of the better scents I've gotten from Sensationals, like definitely a favorite of mine, um, which I would not have expected for myself. So yeah, really good. I want to seek the scent out some more. Love, love, love. Okay, 
And then the last retail wax that I have here with me, oh, actually, no, I have two more, sorry. Um, I have this, this is from Goose Creek. This is strawberry sponge cake. I have, I'm melting this right now, actually. I only use one cube so far and one of my melters, oops, sorry. And this is actually my first time melting anything from Goose Creek. I've actually never purchased anything from Goose Creek before, um, much less their wax melts or and candles. So yeah, now, Goose Creek is actually available at Walmart, which is new to me, but I'm not mad at it because now it's more accessible for me. Like I only picked this clam up and I didn't need to buy a whole lot to get free shipping on their website, for example. So yeah, I picked this scent up just because I feel like strawberry sponge cake or strawberry bakery scent is a very good indicator of a company. I don't know. Like I feel like Whenever it comes to wax melts, whether it's vendor or retail, you have to nail certain scents. Like you have to nail a good cookie scent. You have to nail a good cake scent like or strawberry cake scent. I think you also have to nail a good, maybe like um, a good like lavender scent or a clean scent. Like those, those basic scents, I feel like you, you, just, you just have to nail them, you know? Um, but yeah, this is really nice, actually. I actually like this more than Strawberry Pound Cake from Bath & Body Works. This is not stra Strawberry Pound Cake from Bath & Body Works. If you were wondering if this was a dupe for that, it's not. It actually smells very similar to the Strawberry Pound Cake house blend I get from Dessa's. So it has a stronger, macerated strawberry, fresh strawberry note. Um, and then you get the bakery. So it's more fruity forward, which I prefer. And the strawberry in this is really nice. It, Like I said, it smells like the sweet macerated strawberry oil that Dessa, Dessa's Homespun Scents carries. And it's not the fresh picked strawberry oil. So I really enjoyed this. It smells like a nice, fresh, light, airy cake. And yeah, it's really good. It's performing very well right now as well, throwing out a strong. So yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed. So I'm going to check out uh, more Goose Creek scents. I've heard people in the past that I watch is sort of more hit or miss, but um, so far from this one experience, I've been getting good, good, um, good performance. So I would try, go and try more Goose Creek stuff. Maybe I'll try their candles as well. So yes, that one was from Goose Creek. The next one I have here is from Target. This is the Threshold brand. Warm cider and cinnamon with notes of apple and orange. Uh, this is so, so strong. I used three cubes. One cube is all you need. It's so strong. Um, and it's such a classic cider scent. It's, it has the spices. It's It just smells like your stereotypical apple cider scent. It's spicy. It's warm. Um, it's very uh, comforting for the winter time, for the cold weather, and it's a great performer. So yeah, really, really good. Um, I have quite a few cider scents, so I'm gonna continue to melt through it, but it, this is such a like good and solid performer that I would repurchase this. It's really good, guys. So if you like cider, this one's a good one to pick up from Target. Okay, so that was all the retail wax. So now I'm gonna get into vendor wax. I think I am going to actually get into the loaves I've been melting. I've been trying to be more intentional about melting the loaves I have. I noticed that if I just leave them sitting in my like drawers, for example, unchopped, I will not reach for them. Um, something about messing up the so-called perfection of a full loaf stops me from wanting to melt it. So sometimes what I've been doing on the weekend is that I'll take one or two loaves, I'll chop them up, and then I, I find myself reaching for them more. Sometimes like after um, I come home from the hospital, I don't want to put that much thought into melting stuff. And so I find that I'll reach for the loaves, just throw them in the warmers, so they're already pre-chopped. And I just, it's just, it just makes me use them. In the past, I used to chop away at my loaves like slowly by slowly so I'll only uh, chop off a piece when I wanted to melt it and again that also didn't really help me when it came to melt like when it came to reaching for it so yeah I think this is a better method for me anyways let's get started so most of my loaves are from L3 so the first item I have here is Lighthouse um I melted I would say a good half of it so this is in the scent Lighthouse, sea air, white musk, lavender, cashmere, amber, tonka, cedar, and plum. This is a really beautiful, beautiful scent. It's so nice. It's just, it's clean, but it sort of has this like perfumey quality to it, like a very elegant perfumey quality. And 
it's just such a beautiful scent. Um, I think this is actually one of L3's, um, the owner's favorites because I remember when I ordered it, it said like, I don't remember the exact wording that they said by it, but they said it was a very beautiful scent, like a must try or something like that. So I bought a loaf in it. I also had received a sample in it and I think I bought this loaf before I even melted that sample, which it, which might have been a mistake because when I melted the sample, I couldn't get much of a throw from it at all. I've heard other people who had that experience with Lighthouse um, say the same thing. It's not a good performer. And I would say, yeah, it's not a good performer. Um, I This is light. Um, you can detect it, but it's very much so a light background scent. Um, which has this time in place. Sometimes I don't want things to throw out, throw you out the house strong, but I wish that it was a little stronger, maybe at least like a lighter medium in the very least. Also, it's not, it doesn't last that long, probably has to do with the fact that it's a light performer, so it like fizzles out quickly. Um, it maybe lasts about three hours as a light, so I think, I don't know, I'll, I'm going to continue to melt it, but it's not a favorite. It's not a great performer, but it's such a shame because this is such a beautiful, beautiful scent. So, yeah. Anyways, it's okay. I love the scent, but I wish it performed better. The next one I have here, another loaf I've been working through, getting through it slowly but surely. This is Strawberry Pound Cake, and today is October 3rd, which is her Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Mallow scent, one of her most popular blends. This is called So Fetch from L3 before they named it. Um, and this is from 2021. And let me tell you, this is still throwing at a strong. This is such a good performer. I will say that on warm, I actually got, get more of the strawberry pound cake than the today is October 3rd. I actually don't get as much as the Palo Santo, which is not a bad thing, but I think it did change with age. Like the Palo Santo um, from the today is October 3rd has like lightened a bit with time but I still love it I think it's still a great scent I whenever I melt this I always get compliments actually whether it's like people coming to visit or classmates and um so forth um but yeah really good performer still performing very well it's just a classic bakery scent and it's a good one so yeah once I finish this I would repurchase this repurchase this from L3. I might actually seek it out in a scoop. I don't think I need a huge loaf of it anymore, but um, I did really enjoy it. Okay, the next loaf I've been melting through is this one from L3. This is one of their hybrid Betty loaves. So it's like one scent is on top, another scent is on the bottom. So when you chop it, it's actually, you can actually melt two of these scents, or if you want to just melt one of them, you can. Um, this is really old. This is from 2020. As you can see from the label, it looks like I went outside, stepped on dirt, and then stepped on this label. But I swear to you, I didn't. Um, it just, I don't know, the aging of the uh, the paper just, maybe it has something to do with the fragrance oil. I don't know. It just turned really brown. I don't smoke. I don't do any of that. So I don't know what happened there. But this is Santa's on Keto, which is her like cookie blend. And then Don't Cross Stream, which is her vanilla bomb kind of scent. So Don't Cross Stream is vanilla ice cream, vanilla wafer, and vanilla cookies. And Santa's on Keto is adipose brown sugar butter cookies. This is such a beautiful, beautiful, classic bakery scent. Mixed with that vanilla bomb and those cookie scents and that rich butter cookie oil that she carries. It's just such a nice bakery scent. Um, and this is still throwing for me, despite the age of like from 2020. It is um, not as strong, but for a bakery scent, usually bakery scents taper off with age really quickly, but I'm still getting good performance from this. I like to mix this actually um, with scents that maybe I want to like dampen down a little bit and add more bakery to. So I've been enjoying melting this. This is just a really good scent. I think, um, well, actually, I don't know. I think the green is actually the uh, Don't Cross Streams and then the pink is the Santa's on Keto. But honestly, it's hard to tell because it's just like a classic bakery scent. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this. And I've actually been melting it with another scent, which I'll mention in a little bit. I've been melting it with pistachio from uh, Scoopable Tart Wax or Scoopable Wax Melts. Um, because the pistachio on its own has that weird cherry note. But I find that when I mix it with bakery, that cherry note goes away. So I've been mainly mixing these two together. And it just makes the most beautiful pistachio, like cookie scent it's it's really really nice so um yeah i've been enjoying mixing these two together and i will continue to mix these two together until i finish the pistachio up but yeah really really nice okay 
So the last loaf I'll get into is this one. This is from Hayden Row. This is in the scent Himalayan Pink Salt. So I've been really melting through this loaf. And she used to give you a sticker of like a motivational quote on it. This one says, keep your chin up. And I just stuck it on this um, loaf. But Himalayan Pink Salt is the same oil as Swedish Dream Salt, which is a very beautiful spa, no like spa blend. Um, I love it. It's such a good single scent oil. It's so complex. And let me tell you, this loaf is also from 2020. Or actually, I bought it as a D-stash from a D-stash in 2020. So it actually could be older than 2020, maybe even 2019. But let me tell you, this is still performing strong, like really good and strong. And with just, it's performing amazingly given its age and let me just tell you, I think Hayden Rowe is such an underrated vendor. I truly do. Um, she has maintained in my top three vendors for since I started my wax melt journey like years ago. And I just always found that her scents are really good. And she really excels at the fresh spa kinds of blends. And um, those are the kind of scents that I like. And not just that, I think the quality of the oils she uses are really good. And I love the texture of her wax. I think her texture of her, like her specific wax formula, the texture of it is my favorite. So it's soft enough to where you don't need a microwave to chop it, but it's also firm enough to where it doesn't crumble everywhere actually, um, or smudge the bag super badly, despite it being a soft wax. So it's just, in my world it's the most ideal wax texture um so i really love her wax this is such a good scent i've been enjoying melting this i'm gonna be really sad um when i finish this scent up because it's so good and it's such a good performer it outperforms some new wax that i have from vendors so that really tells you something um yeah i did purchase one of her mystery boxes that she offered and i'm gonna haul it when i have time to film that video but I don't really know what's going on with Hayden Rowe. I know that she's going to continue to make candles. I've never tried her candles before, but it seems like she said something about her new place, something about it not being allowed, her her not being allowed to make wax melts or something like that, or she doesn't have the space for it. I'm not exactly sure, which makes me sad because that means I can't really get a hold of her wax. Um, I also haven't been really hearing people talk about Hayden Rowe recently, just from like YouTube videos I watch or just the wax community in general, which is such a shame because I think her wax is just amazing. But yeah, so I sort of broke my low buy. Well, it wasn't a no buy, so did I really break it? But I broke my low buy um, slash no buy, I don't know. Uh, just to purchase her mystery box because I wanted to get my hands on her wax because I just know it's gonna, I don't know when the next time it is that I'll be able to get her wax. And again, great shelf life of her wax, so I'm not really worried. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm I miss Hayden Rowe. Let me know if you guys have ever tried Hayden Rowe. Her wax is just amazing and I'm so sad she's not more popular or that she doesn't get the recognition she deserves because it's just so good. Okay. Moving on to the other wax that I've been melting. So this is from Empire Alchemy. This is Hay Rides and Bonfire, charred wood, fresh hay, sweet balsam, vetiver, and charred marshmallow. This is such a beautiful, smoky hay kind of scent. And this is not the strongest performer. I would say it's about a lighter side of the medium. It does perform. Um, it's not a super long laster either, but I will say, I think this scent is a very beautifully blended smoky scent. It is very smoky though. So you have to like smoky scents to be able to tolerate this scent. Um, I will say I don't always crave a, like super smoky scents. So I think sometimes I'll try to melt it with something else. Maybe even the bakery loaf, um, the L3 bakery loaf to see how it's like. But I haven't blended it yet. But I think that that's what I'm going to try doing just because I don't want a super smoky scent all the time but sometimes i will crave that kind of scent but um not all the time but yeah this is such a beautiful scent blend and yeah i think empire alchemy has amazing amazing blending power um or she's really good at blending scents she just she just has a talent for it um but i will say as a vendor she's more hit or miss for me so yeah okay moving on the next item I have here, this is a BAM bag from Super Tarts. This is in the scent Drift Off, which used to be called Baby Groot. Driftwood, cucumber slices, melon, and lavender. Uh, this is really great. This, um, 
This is one of my favorite scents from Super Tarts. It's a really unique herbal lavender scent that has this like masculine depth from the driftwood with the freshness of the cucumber. Um, I don't think this is a scent that everybody will like because I think the the woodiness and the super herbal lavender and the cucumber can be sort of polarizing for some people and I do think the scent can be polarizing but I happen to really enjoy it. I don't get any melon from this by the way even though it's in the scent notes but it's a really strong performer. Very, very strong. And this is two years old, I believe. I got this before I even started PA school. And I'm, yeah, I'm in my final year of PA school. So I think I got this uh, maybe in like February of 2022, I think. Not sure, but it's definitely on the older side, but still performing very well. Um, I put this in for a whole day and it lasted the whole day. And I usually don't melt at night, so I'll try to turn off the warmers at night. But I think on this particular day, I had forgotten to turn off one of my warmers. And when I woke up, to my surprise, it was still throwing. It was more at a medium at that point or a lighter medium, but it was still throwing. And you could definitely smell it if you left the like for example you left the space and you came back in um so yeah very good performance good longevity so honestly just amazing quality wax i find super tart has amazing quality i haven't purchased from super tart since this last haul so in 2022 um i noticed from watching other people's videos that she changed her labels again and maybe some set names so i haven't been following as much but i do like her wax um i think her wax is just she has great blends and I think quality wise, it's very good, um, but I haven't purchased recently. So this is just based on my experience from in the past, but yeah, really, really good. Um, and I'm gonna enjoy continuing to melt this. Um, sorry, um, I had to cut off the video there, but moving on, the next item I have here is from Zape. This is one of her scoopables in fall naps. So set notes for this is flannel sheets, autumn leaves, and fall breeze. I've been slowly melting through this. This is actually a pretty good performer. I actually really like Zape's scoopable form formula. Um, her her scoopable formulas, the best way I could describe it is sort of like Vaseline. Um, it's not my favorite texture ever, but I do like how well her scoops perform. So it doesn't really bother me too much. But yeah, this actually... Even though it says flannel sheets, which can be a pretty strong oil, I actually don't get much of the flannel sheets. I think I get most of the fall breeze and the autumn leaves. There's definitely an apple note to it and some spices, I think, and some outdoorsy note. Um, but yeah, I definitely detect apple as the strongest note. And it almost smells like a boozy apple. So yeah, this is a strong performer. It's not a super long laster, though. Um, I think it probably around like four hours or so but it is a strong thrower so yeah i'm gonna continue to melt through that okay now moving on the next item i've been melting this is from rainbow melts this is in spooky spin cycle original gain and clean breeze um there used to be two tombstones in here i melted one of the tombstones um yeah i mean there's not much to say about this this is very strong on the gain the original game kind of scent which i actually happen to enjoy and that clean breeze note just adds like a slight lemon cleanliness to the gain i've been mainly melting this when i want to clean or in the bathroom it sort of puts me in the mood to clean i don't know if i'm like tricking myself into um folding laundry or cleaning the counters when i melt this but i'm not complaining because it sort of works so yeah really enjoying the scent and it's a good performer as well Next item I have here, this is from Silky Soaps and Scents. Um, I've been melting through this brittle slowly but surely. And this is a custom I made in Palo Santo waffle cone and butter cookies. Really, really nice. Um, I made this a long time ago and it's still performing very strong, actually. Um, I think the Palo Santo is the strongest note on here. And her Palo Santo is a different Palo Santo from other vendors. Um, it's more masculine, cologne smelling to my nose. Or at least in this blend, that's how it smells. Um, yeah, I think I'm starting to get sick of Palo Santo Bakery, actually. I think I sort of burnt myself out on it. So I think I will mix this with other bakery notes just to dampen down that Palo Santo a bit. But it's a really good performer and it's a nice blend. So yes, great quality wax from Silkies. Love her wax company. Um, next one I have here, also uh, some snap bars. 
uh, that is now a little bit broken. This is from Lurid Apothecary Margarita Nights Icy Margarita Fresh Peach and Fizzy Pop. Such a summery blend, but I just I just really crave summer scents sometimes, you know? I really love fruity scents. And this is so good. It's that lime margarita kind of scent mixed with that peach. I don't know which one her peach oil is, but it's a really good peach. It's it's not the candy peach. It smells like a fresh peach, and this is a really nice, like, blend. It's all together with the fizzy pop and the margarita. It's just, I don't know, it just screams summer to me, and I just love summery scents. Summer is my, like, favorite season of scents, so i um, thoroughly enjoying this, and I love her labels. I'm sad that Lurid Apothecary closed because I actually really enjoyed her wax. I enjoyed her blends. I love her labels, and yeah um one the labels are beautiful but it's also that glossy label so it doesn't yellow like some of the paper labels do like for example this is, is starting to yellow a bit i mean that just is what happens with age but hers don't do that because it's that glossy label um yeah i i'm sad she's closed so i'm gonna melt through what i have of her stuff but yes it always makes me so sad when vendors i like close um I don't know it's it's very bittersweet and it's it i think i got this blend in 2021 so it's quite a while ago i think she's been closed for actually quite a long time but sometimes like melting scents from a vendor that you used to order from just brings you back a little bit to that time period um but anyways uh, moving on, the next item I have here is from Waxidence. This is one of her house blends, the Zen Den Lavender Spearmint and Rosemary Mint. Super herbal, minty, lavender kind of blend. Very strong. I melted this the other day when I had a bit of a headache and it was just nice. Very strong scent, um, very comforting kind of scent. I love lavender minty blends, um, but this is definitely on the herbal side, so no sweetness. Um, no creamy marshmallow note, anything like that. It's straight herbal. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. Strong throw and I will continue to melt through this. I would probably repurchase the scent as well uh, when I do order from Waxidence again. Also another underrated vendor in my opinion. Okay, next thing I have here is from L3. This is one of her chunks that I cut part of. And this is Bates Motel Mother's Special Blend of Lavender Chamomile Tea and Cakes. And it's exactly that. It's tea and cakes mixed with lavender and that uh, tea and cakes actually makes the lavender a little bit sweet um, it almost smells like a sweet lavender to my nose um, and not an herbal lavender and yeah it's just lavender with tea and cakes I don't love tea and cakes I can enjoy it it's not my favorite um, scent oil ever but I am happy to have tried it and have some of it in my wax collection so I'm going to continue to melt through that it is a very comforting sweet scent so I do like that Another one from L3. This is her puppy pack. I have two shapes left, an owl and a little pumpkin, it seems. Banana nut bread, sorry, banana nutmeg bread pudding. Oh my gosh, this scent always messes me up. So I think it's banana nutmeg bread pudding. That's one oil, I believe, and then cinnamon sugar. I love L3 cinnamon sugar anything. Anytime she puts cinnamon sugar in one of her bakery blends, I always like it. I love it. It's a great performer as well. Great oil. Uh, yeah, really, really nice. And mixed with that banana nutmeg bread pudding, just oh, so good. I used to be a hater of banana bakery scents, um, but my mind is changing. Um, I'm, I actually find that banana scents on warm actually smell like the real thing on warm but on cold it always smells like laffy taffy banana so don't let that fool you because um i actually really like this on warm it's a good performer as well i would repurchase this uh yeah and i think when i am gonna repurchase from l3 i'll request quite a few blends that i've been enjoying from her but at this time i don't need to and that's the great thing about l3 is that you don't feel the need to stockpile or go crazy hoarding scents because she's really good about pouring customer blends so you can just request it when maybe you worked on your stash a bit or when you feel like you need to replenish some l3 so yes love that scent and would repurchase okay moving on um this is from Beezy Tarts, which is a vendor that I don't, also a very underrated vendor, should I say, and is not really having much activity either, so I don't know what's going on. If you happen to know, please let me know. This is in a scent, sorry, 
Earl Grey and Apple Tea. I have it in this bag because the he fills her, his wax all the way to the top that the lid breaks sometimes. So that's what happened in this case. A really good Earl Grey tea scent with like hints of that apple note. It's just really comforting, really nice. Um, I'm a big fan of tea scents. I know some people say that tea scents can smell strange to their nose. It doesn't smell strange to me. I remember when I first received this, I got a really spicy note. I actually don't detect it now. I don't know if it changed with age or if I can tolerate spice more now. Um, but yeah, I bought this back in 2020, still performing very well. I think BZ Tarts has amazing, amazing wax. His wax performs so well, so reasonably priced. So I'm definitely missing his wax. Um, I hope he continues to pour. But yeah, this was a strong performer. Um, and... I just really like the scent. I don't know who else carries this oil. I'm pretty sure most of BZ's scents are single scent oils or they're like simple blends like a pink sugar mixed with marshmallow or something or pink sugar mixed with cookies or something. And um, So his scents don't tend to be like a complex mix of oil. So I'm pretty sure this is also a single oil. Um, if you know who carries this oil, let me know because I do enjoy it. I don't need it in a large amount, but I want at least more of it. Next one here is from Glitterati. This is Pear Berry and Vanilla Snowflakes. This is one of her chunks, so I've just been slowly chopping away at it. This is from December of 2022, still performing very, very strong. So um, the strongest note in here is actually the Vanilla Snowflake. I thought the Pear Berry Berry, the Pear Berry Berry, oh my gosh, the Pear Berry <laughs> would be stronger, but it's actually not. Um, but you do get hints of it in the background. It's mainly that Vanilla Snowflake scent. It's this warm vanilla, almost cashmere kind of scent. And then, um, yeah, this is a very hot and fast throw. So it throws very strong, but then it will not last very long, which there's always a time and place for scents like that. Um, I don't mind that because it actually has good performance. So I think it lasts about three, four hours, um, but it does lose scent very quickly, but it is very strong when you first melt it. So yes. Okay. Moving on, this is from Candles from the Keeping Room. This is Popeye's Olive Oil. Um, I mainly picked this up because I have never heard of this scent before or scent, this scent oil and sounded it very interesting to me. I love olive oil and yeah, Popeye's Olive Oil. Um, I just wanted to pick it up. This smells like a lavender bar of soap. Um, that's the best way I could describe it. It has that... I don't know how to describe it, but that bar soap quality, there's a scent that bars soap typically have, almost like if you mixed like a lemon with a Dove bar soap. That's what it smells like to me. Now, I actually found, so I don't know if you can see through this, it's like a little grubby heart. I cut this grubby heart in half. I put in one warmer and then put in another warmer and it actually didn't really throw, um, interestingly enough, which is odd because I typically get very good performance from candles from the keeping room. But the funny thing was when I put a cotton ball in the wax and um, there's only a very small amount of like wax left, like um, probably just enough to cover like the bottom of the wax, the, the little, um, the bottom of the wax warmer. It actually threw when it was a very small amount of wax. So I don't know if I just need to add a very minuscule amount of wax for this to perform um, and that maybe I was adding too much even though I didn't think I was adding too much. I was adding the typical amount of wax that I normally would add. But yeah, I haven't melted that um, since then so I'm going to play around with it but yeah, so we'll see. Um, and then last item I have here is from Silky's. This is in Strawberry Lemon Ice. I've spoken about the scent before. It's the best strawberry lemonade kind of scent, in my opinion. So good, so strong, so stinking strong. It throws so well. Um, it's very fruity, very lemony. Um, it reminds me of fresh strawberry lemonade you can get at the fair. Um, yeah, really, really good. Enjoying that. And I've been blending this as well, so... Yes, that is all the wax that I've been melting recently. Let me know what you guys have been melting or um, any favorites or any any of these scents you've ever tried before or some of your thoughts. But thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.